Sassy Crafting Mama presents Minnie Mouse Candy Dish. We're going to use some E6000 and we're going to apply that to the top of our beer glass, which I purchased from the dollar store. And you want to be liberal with your E6000. And as always, you want to make sure you're using this in a ventilated area. I have the fan going in the background and the window open. I purchased both the beer glass and the bowl from the Dollar Tree, the E6000 I already had from a previous project. Now I'm going to apply some hot glue to our surface and that just helps it bond a little faster. Now you want to take your bowl and make sure you line this up exactly where you want it and just hold it in place for a second Now I'm going to let this dry for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to move on to applying the ribbon. I purchased this pink glitter ribbon from Walmart. It does have a wire in it. So I'm going to place this on the base of my glass and just bend it back so I know where to cut it at. Now I'm just going to clip this off and place it back around my glass. Now as you can see Minnie Mouse is on the glass, but actually she's inside the glass. I googled a cutout of Minnie Mouse and then I cut it out and I inserted it inside the glass and I attached it with little small piece of tape. You can use a glue dot, but I wanted to make these candy dishes versatile. So after the Minnie Mouse party is over, you can be able to use this for another event. For the shorter candy dish, I have one glass candlestick, which I purchased from the dollar store. I'm using my E6000, and I purchased a smaller bowl from the Dollar Tree as well. So same thing as before, I'm applying my E6000. Now I'm going to apply some hot glue to my surface. And you want to make sure you get this exactly on top of the E6000 because it will drip down inside the candlestick holder. Now just pick up your bowl. You want to make sure you have your bowl centered over your stick before you attach it. Press down on it for a little while. I've applied a book to the top of the candy dish so it can evenly dry. And I'm going to let this dry for approximately 20 minutes. I am not the best bow maker. I made the bow off camera. This is the bow that I purchased, I'm sorry, this is the ribbon that I purchased from Walmart. And it does have wire in it. I played around with this bow 
for about five minutes. And here is the finished look. Your Minnie Mouse candy buffet is ready. All you need to do is add your different candies, your candy scoops, which I purchased from Walmart, two for a dollar fifty. And please visit the video about my Minnie Mouse gumball machine. And I want to thank you all for watching.